Hi, I'm Terry, and this is Walking in Westerville. I'm just a walking down the street, walking down the street, looking at my feet, looking at my feet, I don't know nowhere to go. I'm just a walking down the street, walking down the street, looking at my feet, looking at my feet, I don't know nowhere to go. I'm just a walking down the street, walking down the street, looking at my feet, looking at my feet, I don't know nowhere to go. On today's episode, we're gonna go somewhere that's literally gonna blow you away. We're gonna to go to Ah Miller's Gun Shop at 1 West Main Street in Westerville, and he is packing some heavy artillery. And it's only a three minute walk from the municipal building. Today, I'll be talking with Dan, the owner, about all the latest in home protection and all the cool new guns that the soccer moms will be carrying this fall. Dan, can you tell us a little bit about Ah Miller's Gun Shop? <clears throat> well, we sell firearms and ammunition and uh reloading supplies. I don't do uh, things like archery equipment and uh, actually hunting wear. Uh, just kind of stick the guns and closely related items. <clears throat> We've been here since 1974. We went in business. There's a <clears throat> little room over here that I was in to start with. And in the year 2000, we uh, expanded into this back room area. When did you decide that you wanted to own a gun shop? <clears throat> well, I had an intense interest in guns all along, and I uh, reloaded ammunition for firearms in my residence in the basement of my house, and I began selling those. As a matter of fact, I sold <clears throat> reloaded ammunition to the gun shop uh, that I purchased, uh, and uh, when he wanted to get out of the business, uh, he asked if I'd be interested. And I said, well, I said, maybe. As it was, he waited until I graduated and then I bought the business from him. A whole 13 guns. What type of gun do you find that people buy most often? Probably a handgun, uh, semi-automatic handguns right now. Dan, what are some of the, the biggest and smallest guns that you carry? <clears throat> Gee, there's a little um, mini, mini revolver down there that's uh, barely three inches long total, uh, fit in the palm of your hand. And the biggest gun I would suppose would be that 50 caliber sitting right there. <laughs> Prevent serious tailgating. Yeah, that would. Yeah. <laughs> what is your oldest and what is your newest gun that you have? <clears throat> oldest, well, we have a, a Civil War weapon down there. 1860 uh, Spencer, so it's a, one of the first repeating rifles. It's uh, it's kind of neat. Oh, to load it, <clears throat> you drop the cartridges in those first. I think it held about uh, 10 or 11. <clears throat> then you would put one up into the chamber and you'd have to pull the hammer back and pull the trigger. And that would throw one out and put a new one in. And you'd have to pull the hammer back again. But it was still a lot faster than pouring the powder in, jamming the ball down. Uh, <clears throat> the newest one out is uh, a Taurus, a uh, semi-automatic nine millimeter handgun. It's called a slim frame. It's uh, a great concealed carry weapon. Uh, <clears throat> it just has a single stack magazine, so it, uh, I think it only holds six or seven shots, but uh, it conceals very well. What are the most expensive and what are the least expensive? <clears throat> Golly, probably the most expensive one would be the uh, Browning 50 caliber machine gun there. They're, they're about 50,000 in that area. Least expensive would be Probably a Davis over and under Derringer 22 caliber. They run like 139 or something like that. And then to operate this one, you um, it swings up like that. You put two cartridges in there and then you close it. Awesome. And to use it, you pull the hammer back and then pull the trigger. Out of all of the really cool things that you have in here, what would be your favorite? What is your favorite gun? Well, I tended to be a carbine collector from World War II. Carbines are little short rifles. Uh, I probably had a collection 
I'm starting to sell some things off now, but I probably had about 20 of those of different manufacturers and so on. What is your policy regarding sales? Um, is there a difference between the, the state and the national laws? <clears throat> well, the state policy is the same as the national, so uh, <clears throat> a person fills out a form and we have to phone that information into a background check system and it could be approved on the spot, could be delayed up to three days. Uh, could actually be denied if the person doesn't have the appropriate background to own a firearm. Okay, I'm back here at the municipal building and my thighs are on fire from that three minute walk. But it was all worth it because today I got to see a 50 caliber machine gun, which was really cool. I'd love to take it home. Unfortunately, I'm married and I'm afraid that my wife might try to use it on me. But anyway, thanks for watching Walking in Westerville on WOCC TV3. See you next time.